if they run off a trap, they will find their way back home. To train up a child is one of the highest privilege and responsibilities. Yes. Give to parents. Parents know the way the child should go. Parents, I want to listen up you know, because if you're here and lecture this morning, don't feel any way. I still love you guys. Parents is convinced that there is a right way. Biblical wisdom. Lord Jesus. Lead by example. Children learn by observing the mother, the behavior, and the value you want them to adopt. Am I going to stop here? It's the life that we live. Mm -hmm. Speak volume. The word of God declared that by their fruits he shall mm -hmm. know them. The lifestyle. Parents, I beg of you this morning to live a godly lifestyle before these people once. They are the future. Let me tell you something. The way that we speak, the things that we do, in front of these little ones. Let me tell you something quickly. <laughs> the teachers can easily well identify the type of home that these little ones come from. Yes. Because they come to school and they will act it out in front of the teachers. So when you guys come here or at the school, like bad bull and doppy come to fight teachers and principal, Jesus Christ. It is the life that you live before these little one. And so that's why the attitude they come to school with. Let me tell you something. The enemy is a roaring lion walking about seeking who he may devour. He come to kill, steal, and to destroy. He has no good into him but sin, shame, and disgrace. So when you give him a low pole, he utilize it because Satan is a marksman yeah. and he's a shooter, miss. Yeah. Lord Jesus, oh, you get it right this morning, parents. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. Because if some of you don't make the necessary adjustment, I'm telling you, it's going to be weeping and mourning. I went to a particular primary school. Let me say this quickly. I, I, I will keep the name of the school. The principal gave me 20 boys to speak to. It go down to three. And I realized that two kind of have this, what do you call it? They can't be themselves, they're busy body. You can use that word for the time being. So I, I realized something with those two. So I said, go back to your classes. And I identify one. And I said, stay with me. You know what the little boy said? He associates himself with the one other gang. <laughs> you know what he do? No, it's in my own comical, but it's not. He begins to collect money from his schoolmate, extortion money, and I'll pick you up nothing. He went to the little girls then. And you know what he's defending. Primary school, me I tell you about. You know what the little boy tell, tell, tell the, um, sorry, you know what he, he, he found out tell the principal? Next time he misbehaves, write a letter. Send him home because I can't manage him. A primary school not to the mm -hmm. So I said to him, What do you want to become in life? Sir, me not knowing up anything or anything. It shows you the type of home that that's the problem I'm coming from. So somebody's home needs to clean up too much mess in somebody's home. And you send them to school to give teacher any. But it's your responsibility, parents, to grow the children in the right and proper way. Yes. Read the word of God over them. Pray over them. Amen. And live a godly lifestyle. Amen. So if your lifestyle is not ready, that's how this little one going to come. I, I listen. Um, Fable Williams last night on news. Make me follow the news enough. I'm going to read a lot. And I, I don't know if to school with this big adult fancy hairstyle. 
Short up dress, tight up pants. It not going to work. Because we are going to stand on the truth. Because Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and life. And it's only the truth that will set us free from our crooked ways. So parents, let me tell you this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you're going to turn from your crooked ways and allow Jesus Christ to heal your guys' land. Let me tell you something, it now will work. Because the church will not stand, Lord Jesus, because it is the church that has the power. You hear me? It is not Andrew Holness. It is not Favor Williams. It is not Cousin Troops. I was your name. It is not the whole ministry of education. But it is the church of the living God Hallelujah. that has the power because Jesus Christ declared in his word that he gave us the power to shut up on our scorpion and our serpent and I said Satan I said back up this morning the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is against you and we said take your dirty filthy hands of God's property we said take your flight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Get it right, parents. Get it right. Let me tell you something. None of you here not going to come and fight the teachers and abuse the principal. And, so, and I'm big in here. Get it right. In the name of Jesus. You see, Jesse, it is a part of teaching and learning. Yes. So give the children them a, a nice career style. Lord Jesus, nice career style. Nice career style, they just must come down. Now look at your tight up pants. Mr. Anchor, the former principal of Jonathan Grant. I went to a, a, a graduation at Marley Mount before he retired. He have a scissors. Let me tell you something, when the, when the pants are too tight, he have a way to turn it into skirt. Lord Jesus, and I'm going to bring one to the principal here. Because let me tell you something, it starts from here. Let me tell you something. Oh, I'm going to close off you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue to grow them in this way. Because Ministry of Education is the biggest culprit. They are best for these little ones. Every teacher loves their, their, their children. Because nothing like when, they, when the children get them, them, them nice subject, 100% 90. Teacher happy when teacher now get their homework, they vex and they have all right to vex. Yes. So spend quality time with the children. What some of you guys doing? Just leave the children unto the teachers. So teachers have no life. Okay. 